Hi guys, my name's Andy, and in this lesson I'm going to be showing you the easiest three chords to play on your guitar, and then demonstrating ten songs that you can play using only these three chords, and each one of those songs is going to have its own video linking from this lesson, so that you can see that lesson in its complete form and, and know exactly how to play those songs. This follows on from my very successful Play 10 Songs with 2 Easy Chords series, and this is kind of seen as level 2, and that series being level 1 of my beginner's course, and the lessons do follow on from here. So, on the uh, homepage, on my YouTube channel, or on my website, you will find level 3, level 4, so on and so forth, if this is something that you really enjoy. The three chords I'm going to be demonstrating for you are E, A, and a D chord, and we're going to have close-ups on each one of those chords and the changes between them so we can really nail these songs. I'll be demonstrating one song in its entirety and that song will be Lean On Me and that will come at the end of this lesson. So the two chords that I covered in the first series of videos, the Play 10 songs with two chords, were the E major and the A major and we were changing between them in this fashion with the first finger used as an anchor point to go between those two chords. The new chord that we're going to be using along with those two chords is the D major, like this. So I'm going to start off with the D major because that will be new for a lot of you that have come from that verse video, but I'll also go through the other two chords as well and how to change between them. So this is the D major chord. And to play this we need our first finger again at the third string 2nd fret, and it wants to be as far at this side of the fret as possible. Just here would be ideal. Right on the tip of your finger, so make sure you're not pressing the bottom of the guitar. And have your thumb behind the, uh, the fretboard, and it wants to be resting, just creeping over the top of the neck, but certainly not right over like this. We're going to keep it behind. Our middle finger goes on the 2nd fret of the 1st string, like this, and you can see now that I've created this angle to actually fit both of those fingers here. If you try and play this with your finger straight on, it will probably be more difficult for you. And this angle allows us to reach the 3rd finger at the 3rd fret of the 2nd string, and that's how we play this D chord. The little finger isn't down at all, so we have 1, 2, 3, with our fingers on an angle, little finger placed near the third finger just to keep your hand in a more solid shape, and then we want to strum from string 4, which is the D string, and then our D should sound right. Try not to play either of the thicker two strings, and that will be our D chord. To change to the A chord from the previous level, which is the most common change, we're going to keep that first finger down, and move the middle finger above and the third finger below. And that's played like this, and we strum from string 5 this time, because string 5 is the A string. So the lowest note of each of these chords has the same letter name. And this A chord alone will be first finger around the middle of the fret, at the third fret of the second string, middle finger directly above it, and the third finger directly below it. So one, two, three. Each of those fingers wants to be as far to this side of the fret as possible without crossing over this fret line here. And then to change to the D chord which we've just learnt, you want to make sure that you're sliding to that side of the fret for the D, and then sliding back for the A, to ensure we don't get any dead strings ringing out. So if I play at this side of the fret, I simply have to press on much harder, and it still doesn't sound as good if I'm at this side of the fret, so it's really super important that we're at this side of the fret. There's our D chord on that angle, thumb just creeping over the top. First finger stays down, slide back a little bit, but stay in the same fret, middle finger above, third finger below, and that's our A chord there. Very similar technique to get to the E chord, first finger stays down, that's the anchor point, slide it to the first fret, same string, middle finger on string 5, fret 2, 
third finger directly underneath it. So this E chord is one, two, three, and give it a strum. To get back to the A, we keep that first finger down, slide it to the second fret, middle finger above, third finger below. Give it a strum from string five. To get to the D chord, the first finger stays down. It slides to this side of the fret, middle finger first string, third finger second string, creating this triangular shape and putting your fingers on an angle towards you. Strum from string four. And that is what our D chord sounds like. If you need more help with any of those chords, you do want to check out my website uh, where you'll find my free beginners course. It's also available on YouTube. The links will be up here or down in the link in the description below. In this video, we just have one more change to cover, which is the change between the E chord and the D chord. This is a much bigger change for your fingers to do, but we can still do it using the same technique of your first finger staying down, going to the second fret, and then strumming the D chord there. But that does require us to have muscle memory of both of those chords, the E chord and the D chord. And that is really the intention of all these series of videos where we're giving you a chance to get the muscle memory in your fingers of these chords before we make everything else more complicated. And that's gonna allow us to get some really cool songs under our belts that sound much better than they otherwise would because we can focus on strumming patterns and structure of, that these songs might have, and even perhaps get you singing along yourself or playing along to the record. Uh, all those things are possible in the early days of playing guitar, even if these are some of the first songs you've ever played, if we just stick to three chords, two chords, or, or around that number. So this final change, here's our E major chord, one, two, three. And we keep that first finger down, slide to the second fret, middle finger and third finger and that's certainly the biggest change so that only really happens in the later songs in this playlist the early songs really focus between on the change between the A and the D chord so this is a change that essentially you just want to drill And this enables us to play our first song. Now I'm going to put all the songs uh, in the links in the description below, but also just on screen now so that you can get a gist of the songs that are available. But I do want to stress that you don't have to do every one of these songs to progress. These songs are provided as options for you. And ideally, we'd really only need to pick around three of them. And that might be just the three that you recognize. Um, but what I'm going to suggest is three of these particular songs to really follow up on from this lesson um, as particular standout favorites that I would recommend to private students because of the content in them. So using songs as exercises basically. And uh, the first one is going to be Lean On Me, which I'm going to demonstrate for you in this video. Uh, the next one is Have A Nice Day by The Stereophonics, and that is a video that's in the link in the description and link from here. And the final one is a classic rock riff. You may have heard of it, you may not, but this is I Can't Explain by The Who, and it's a fundamental kind of rock riff, basically. We'll demonstrate those a little later, but we're going to go straight on to Lean On Me, which should be your first song of this list. And it goes like this. Lean on me when you're not strong And I'll be your friend I'll help you carry on That's the song we're going for, okay? And it starts on our A major chord. And we just need to strum this once. And then we change to the D on when you're not strong. So we start off, lean on me. On the word me, we strum the A chord. When you're not strong, we change to the D. And I'll be your friend is back to A. So really easy changes, but when you play along to the record or sing along yourself, it will come to life. It does become a real song. Then we have the hardest change. We have E to D. I'll help you carry on. So that was on the word carry, 
and on that we change between those two chords. A demonstration of that top line one more time. Lean on me when you're not strum a D chord and I'll be your A chord. I'll help you carry on. And then it's essentially exactly the same as that but we're just going to strum a different chord for the last chord we're going to finish on the A. So the second line is for it won't be long till I'm gonna need So up until now, exactly the same Somebody to lean on So that was just an E to an A change to finish with So fairly straightforward as I say But it's just showing you the practical application of these chords Rather than the beginner's habit of learning, you know, 10 chords and not being able to play any songs. We're kind of reversing that formula basically with, uh, with this little series of videos that I'm doing here. And that would be exactly the same for the start of the song for all the verses. Sometimes in our lives we all have pain, we all have sorrow. Exactly the same as the first line was in, in the chorus But if we are wise We know that there's always tomorrow So you can now by following the chord sheet below this video on the website And the links are in the description as I say uh, You can now play that song if you can change between those chords And you can start to figure out how real songs work now the other couple of song suggestions that I mentioned uh, were Have a Nice Day and this just gets some more strumming between the A and the D chord. So the simplest way to play it, we're going to have two bars of the A chord and two bars of the D. So you can see that we've got a bit more involvement with the strumming hand there but still fairly straightforward changes and we've kept the changes easier because of the increase in the strumming hand. The third suggestion of mine is I can't explain. This is mainly for the electric guitarist among you but acoustic guitarist this will sound absolutely great as well. The riff itself goes like this. Really short, really recognisable, and we have a pause between each of the changes which gives you time to change, and we have this muting, so it's a little bit quicker changes, a bit more involved with the strumming hand, but in my opinion, it's a fantastic riff, played with three easy chords, and you can't go wrong. So that was I Can't Explain by The Who. We got some other great suggestions there in this batch of 10 songs. Feel free to follow that list here on YouTube, but as I say, everything's much easier to find with appropriate chord sheets and song suggestions, chord help, everything that you'll need on the website at andyguitar.co.uk but no matter what lesson you pick I do hope to see you in one of my future lessons on this channel uh, take care of yourselves, all the best with your guitar playing and bye for now One, two, three, four, one, two, then a D One, two, back to A Downs and ups every time. This is down and up, eight strumming. And for example, ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba ba.